I went for a haircut yesterday and a facial bleach also. So I think this looks good. You won't be too sick of looking at me time and again up on stage. So, <laughs> Toastmaster Geetanjali, what an inspirational speech. Thank you. You had the classic Toastmaster beginning. This is what Toastmaster says is how you should begin a speech. A, a good story you mentioned in between about the shoe salesman to support your topic. Excellent. You are confident up on stage. Very good. That being said, little tweaking needs to be done so that you become a competent communicator. I saw a little nervousness towards the end. That should be avoided. Don't worry about the time. Take notes, maybe from Pankaj. He was very accurate on his speech. Time is, yes, time is important in Toastmasters. But it shouldn't cause nervousness. You should be aware of it. It shouldn't cause nervousness. So avoid nervousness. We are all friends here. You're not going to jump up and eat you. No issues. And I saw a little bit of notes on the desk. So you have finished your CC3 which means now you are eligible as an evaluator. So since you have crossed the first stage of Toastmasters, we will advise you that you need to show the professionalism, the expertise that you have crossed the first stage of Toastmasters journey. Thereby, avoid notes from now on. Onwards. That being said, your voice is so powerful. I will listen to you all day long. And you were using visual aids, which is recommended in Six. manual 8. Computer communicator 8, what expects you to be you know, easy with visual aids. And you were using it in CC3. I was thinking whether I was listening to uh, you know, the first stage of a speaker or the final stage where you are almost at the end of your competent communicator. A very all the best to you. Toastmaster Geetanjali, you did an excellent job. I'm waiting for your CC4. And moreover, since you are eligible to evaluate, I'm waiting for your evaluations also. Thank you a lot. I agree. I agree. I agree. <laughs>